As following on from a previous video, my previous video that this on this RP30 hacker radio, we did a test on the audio amplifier to see what its frequency response was. And it was quite surprising. It's actually with the tone controls in the right position, uh, say about seven o'clock on the bass control and uh, twelve o'clock on the treble, the amplifier's response is pretty flat within a couple of dB. But one of my um, subscribers suggested why don't we try uh, the frequency response of the radio on the whole so it's going to try and do this this evening um, so basically we're, get, we're checking the or seeing what the whole frequency response of the, the medium wave uh, section of this radio is so basically what I'm doing is I'm taking the a one kilohertz tone from the uh, spectrum and um, the audio analyzer and feeding into the Roden Schwartz's external um, modulation uh, input and we're modulating currently at about 75%. And with carrier wave is at 1.439 megahertz. And you can hear that on the radio now. And as you can see with the volume turned up, I've got it down at the moment so I can speak, that it's producing um, audio output at around 7% distortion, which is probably perfectly normal for a, a medium wave radio. Uh, you've got to bear in mind that it's picking up noise from uh, background stations and things like that. I am putting quite a strong signal in. So we'll do a frequency response test um, and see what we get. Now, I don't expect any miracles, but it's going to be pretty awful, as you'd expect with medium wave. But let's just see what we do again anyway. So we'll set our reference points first, then and we'll turn the gain up and set it all up. So we'll start frequency of this, say, uh, start frequency of 100 hertz. Stop frequency, I think, of 15 kilohertz, uh, and then instead of start frequency of one kilohertz, um, and then we're going to turn the volume up to get a s s most stable um, AC level that we can. It's going to be a little bit jumpy because obviously I'm going to go re ratio. I'm going to go sorry logarithmic, so we're on dB and then ratio. Is a 0B desk point. Okay, I think we're ready to go. So I'm going to start the sweep and let's see what we get. No, I'm not. Let's so start again. I always do the press the same button every time. So sweep. No, I need to. There we go. by 10 kilohertz it's minus 23 dB down so it's not even detecting the signal anymore the level's so low so you get a steep roll off let's increase the, the, the level slightly and see if we can do that again so let's go to frequency 1 kilohertz increase the volume set our dB reference point Okay, press the right button this time. Let's try again. So you got a 18 dB roll off, 25 dB, 33 dB roll off. At, at sort of 10 kilohertz, so what you'd expect for the uh, uh, medium wave radio, um, pretty poor frequency response, hence the reason why they uh, they sound so compressed. Um, but we'll, well, we'll do that on the next uh, videos, I'll do it on an FM radio, uh, and also uh, Radio Crunch wanted to see the difference between this Hacker RP, uh, RP30 and uh, maybe a Roberts amplifier, see if there's any better. Uh, I'll have to dig one of my Roberts out, the only one I've got out at the moment is an R600, which uh, I suppose we could try it on that. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching and uh, some more to come.